Hello and welcome to Easy Maths. In this particular lesson, we're going to focus on the propagation of errors. And as always, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll always appreciate. Let's turn now our focus to propagation of errors. We're going to attempt this part by trying out a question which has four parts to bring out how to propagate errors with regard to addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And so before us is a question we're given. Um, given that A is 2.7 and B is 1.4, find the absolute error in the following operations. And I need to say that the operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Also, I need to mention that the value of A lies between 2.65 and 2.75, and, and I need to explain that. The number 2.7 is written correct the nearest one decimal place. That means the absolute error would be 0 0.1 divided by 2. And if you get 0 0.1 divided by 2, you get 0 0.05. And if you add 2.7 to 0 0.05, you'd get 2.75. That's upper limit. And if you subtract 0 0.05 from 2.7, you get 2.65, and that's a lower limit. That is similar to what has been done with B. It's given us 1.4. That means the up lower limit is 1.35 and the upper limit is 1.45. Again, done the same way we've done with, with A. Since this number is really given correct to one decimal place, the absolute error is 0 0.05. So add to 1.4, you get upper limit. Subtract from 1.4, you get the lower limit. Now, as we begin with the, the first part, A plus B, we need to do the following. First one, the largest possible value of the addition should be found, which is uh, just the addition of 2.75 and 1.45. And that answer there will be 4.2. I hope that is clear. If we want to get the largest possible value of the number 2.7 plus 1.4, then the only combination that will give us the highest number is the highest numbers of both of A and B. And therefore, that's what we're saying there. And similarly, the smallest possible value of the addition of A and B should be the 2.65 plus 1.35, which is uh, 4.0. And of course, the actual value is just adding the 2.7 and 1.4, which gives us uh, 4.1. On that note, the absolute error of A plus B should be the largest possible value minus the smallest possible value divided by 2. In a case, it will be 4.2 minus 4.0, 4.2 minus 4.0, divided that by 2 and get 0.1. Alternatively, we should also know that the absolute error in the case of addition and subtraction, that is when we have operations of addition and subtraction, absolute error can be found simply by getting the largest possible value of the operation minus the actual value or just getting the actual value minus the smallest possible value. And in our case, if you do the same thing, you get 4.2 minus um, 4.1. The answer will be 0 0.1. Again, also 4.1 minus 4.0. The answer will be 0 0.1. Let's move on. Now, we have A minus B, another operation. So, the largest possible value of A uh, minus B should be 2.75 minus 1.35. And you need to notice this. We have exchanged... In the previous case, the largest possible value was just this bigger value of A and the bigger, bigger value of B added together. But here, to get the largest possible value, we're going to interchange. You get the biggest of A minus the smallest of B. And if you just think about it, then it means that should give us the largest possible value. This is the reason. If you get 2.75 minus 1.45, that will be a smaller number than... 2.75 minus 1.35. Therefore, since we want the biggest possible answer, we get this one. Alternatively, if you get 2.65 minus this, the answer will be much smaller than what we have from this operation. Just the same way, it will be smaller than the value. Uh, it, it will also the, the answer you get here it will be also bigger than what you get if we got 2.65 minus 1.35. Therefore, the largest possible value for subtraction should be the biggest of the number that you're subtracting from and the smallest of the number that you're subtracting, the 1.35. And therefore, that operation there should give us 1.4. Now, the smallest possible value should be the operation of 2.65 minus 1.45. Again, it's the same concept. 
if you want to get the smallest possible value of this difference of a and b we should get the numbers that are closest to each other 1.45 is the biggest of b and uh, 2.65 is the smallest of a so hopefully my explanation there makes sense and therefore it's going to be 2.65 minus uh, 1.45 and the answer will be 1.2 now actual value is a minus b of a minus b just be 2.7 minus 1.4 and the answer will be 1.3 and therefore now the absolute error will be as we said in this note here we can take the largest possible value minus actual value which is 1.4 minus 1.3 um, and the answer will be uh, 0 0.1 Again, please notice that this answer should be also ob uh, obtained if we took the actual value minus the smallest possible value. We move on to another part, the multiplication, the operation of multiplication A times B, that answer there. Now, first of all, the largest possible value will, of A, the product of A and B will be obviously these two here. Now, this operation, that is multiplication, moves the same way as addition. The largest possible value of the product of A and B should be the largest value of A times the largest value of B. And therefore, we have 2.75 times 1.45. That's will be what you have on the screen there, 3.9875. Again, the smallest possible value of A and B, the product of A and B, should be the smallest of both of them. And if you just reason, you find that that's actually true. The smallest possible value would be the smallest of A and the smallest of B because we're multiplying and again of course the answer will be 3.5775 the, the absolute error therefore will be now we will follow this process that we we did in the first case here with the largest possible value minus the smallest possible value divided by 2 so that tells you that this not here does not apply for for multiplication and division so the absolute error will be how much error is there so it's just the largest possible value minus smallest possible divided by 2. And the answer will be um, 0 0.205. You can always load the video or try out to see if that's the case. And again, try out the other questions and see if you get the same answers. Now, moving on to division. A divided by B. Again, the largest possible value of A and B should be the biggest of A and the smallest of B. Again, I should say that division and subtraction moves the same way, or they are operated the same way in this case. If you divide 2.75 by 1.45, the answer should be smaller than if you got 2.75 divided by 1.35. Therefore, we want the biggest possible value. It should be the biggest of the number that you are dividing, and then it should be the smallest. You take the smallest of the number that you're dividing with. And so in our case, it will be 2.0370. Again, the smallest possible value of A divided by B should be, of course, an interchange again, 2.65 divided by 1.45. And the other will be 1.8276. And obviously, that answer there will be the smaller. Maybe I should also say that if you get 2.65 divided by 1.35, the answer will be bigger than if you got 2.65 divided by 1.45. And therefore, we consider the 1.45 because we want to get the smallest possible answer of the quotient of a and b therefore that's the case there now the absolute error should be obtained using this same formula we have talked about earlier here so it should be the largest possible value minus the smallest possible value divided by 2 and therefore the answer will be 2.0370 minus uh, 1.8276 divided by 2 and the answer will be 1.0.1047 and that brings me to the end of the that particular video about the propagation of errors. I'm going to have another video posted at the same time with this, which has additional concept about the propagation of errors. Please appreciate, comment. I'll, I'll, I'll be glad. Thank you.